G'day guys, my name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we got a box from David. Just David. David uh, from New South Wales, Australia. Thank you so much, David. This means the world to us. <laughs> if you guys are wondering why we're sitting so low, it's because we wanted to make this box look big. I mean, it's already big. This is the, okay. All right. Hey guys. Game over. This is the biggest box that we have received from Australia. I think that Noel uh, Swarn, no, I've got my key. Swarn sent a, a big box like this, but I think that's the only <laughs> big box we've gotten. This is the biggest box we've gotten from Australia for sure. All I know is, is there's biscuits, chips, confectioners, condiments, and souvenirs in here, and I'm super excited to open it up. Uh, David, I would like to first apologize because this package apparently arrived at our uh, PO, box. P.O. box on the 8th, and we did not get the notification until t today. So I went. What is today? The today's 30th. the 30th. So it's, it's been quite some days. So it would be the first for them when they watch this. Yes. So we apologize. We did not know that the package came in. And in fact, when I say we got the notification, we didn't get the notification for this package. We got a notification for another package. Yeah, so we didn't even know this was sitting there. Yes. And, and we pay extra to get notified deliveries at the P.O. box. Yeah. And we didn't get a notification. So we apologize. 100% apologize. Hopefully everything is still good. Yes. Thank you, David. We truly, truly appreciate it. And guys, whether you send a big-ass box or a postcard, it everything is super appreciated. We, we truly do appreciate every single thing that comes from you guys. So... Let's go ahead and pop this bad boy open. Before we do, excuse me. Before we do, if you would go ahead and give us a thumbs up, it truly helps us out in getting these videos out to more people. Also, if you would go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon, that way you guys can stay informed on our future videos. And if you'd like to help support the channel even more and get an exclusive, a exclusive, exclusive YouTube short shout out or send us a postcard, Absolutely. click that join button down below. And link to our P.O. box is actually in the description as well. Yes. All right, so I left my knife I at home. Fine, though, I guess. So we're going with the keys. Uh, I'm not gonna get you, buddy. More fridge. Uh, I'm so left-handed, this is actually kind of hard to do. Got it? Yeah, at it. All right. Oh. <clears throat> uh, I missed one. Oh. It's not because I'm weak. So this, this package, first off, this box has seen better days. This one, yes, this one was tattered. This one was tattered. All right. Oh, gotta turn that over. We can't look at that stuff yet. Ooh, Get your eyes out of there. It's, it's not Christmas yet. All right. We have got a postcard. I like it. Cheers, mate. Cheers, mate. Good night, guys. My name is Dave. I'm just gonna read. I'm gonna yeah, read it normal, please. In a, my accent. And my missus' wife name is Donna. We hope you. We hope you enjoy your package of goodies. There are things that you have tried and some things that you haven't. We are from the Hawkesbury in the Greater Western Sydney, New South Wales. We would love to thank you for your content and which we love. Also, a big thanks for your flood content as we are from the area in which major flooding happened. So many homes lost, but thankfully no lives. That's the best part. 100%. I mean, it sucks, but at least no lives. 100%. Keep up your good work. Cheers, Dave. P.S. If you ever come to Australia, we would love to meet you both. Even do an Aussie Barbie. A and have a few tinnies. Beer. P.P.S. Check out Carl Barron. Very funny bloke. We'll check him out. Bet. We'll check him out. Bet I'm going to set this right here. All right. So it looks like on the top we've already got our our uh, souvenirs. We'll go ahead and pop those out. So we've got two oh Australian flag coasters. You know where these can go? My apartment. One can go in my apartment. Oh, you, you Oh, we like straight up. We could use them right now, Dave. 
Yes. Thank you. Perfect. Came in handy like two minutes into the video. No way. Australian animals. That's perfect. That I like so it. That's so funny. That is dope. We need a shelf. That would be perfect for a shelf. We need a shelf. We need a shelf. We need a shelf. Australian made printed flag. What is flag. this? It's an Australian made printed flag. All right. Aww. I wish it didn't get a little bit beat up in the thing. That's a it's big okay. old flag, man. It is. We need it's a shelf. Long. Yeah, we need a shelf. All right. We got our coasters, got our animals, check, check. got our flag. Now, it's time for the goodies. Oh my gosh, I'm actually hungry. I am too. Okay, all right. Confectionary so, stuff. Oh, we didn't have oh, no, those are chips. either of these last time. So this, you guys don't even know what I'm talking about because I'm pointing at myself, not you. All right, there you go. So this is Red Rock Deli. These are the, the deli style chips that we liked last time. This is roast chicken with sage and burnt butter. We did not have this one. And this is Portuguese chicken with lemon and oregano, which is uh, Portuguese. Portuguese, Portuguese chicken. <laughs> we did not have that flavor. I'm trying to show that I'm a little bit ethnic. Okay, we'll put that over here. Go ahead and grab you something out of there. We're gonna go with the uh, Arnott's Caramel Crowns. If this is anything like the, uh, haven't had that. Yeah, Dope. that Dope. looks awesome. Ooh, Venetian. Arnott's Venetian. I don't even know what a Venetian is. Uh, I. Anyways, moving on. I don't. I don't want <laughs> to be know wrong. Either. I'm going to say it, but it'll be wrong. Tim Tams went three wishes. Okay, so they're just doing a special thing. <laughs> Is it just double original? coated? Okay, so we've had the double coated, yeah. so we can set that to the side. This is going to be a long video. Salted caramel brownie. We've had that one, and I'm going to set it to my side. <laughs> Bruh, chicken salt. Bruh. Dope. That's Shit. what's up. That is the way to send it. Yeah. That is the way. Yeah. This is the way. Any of my Mandalorian? Bro. And Zach Biscuits. I liked these last we time. We need to try. These are probably a little bit different than the last ones. They're part, I mean, different brand probably. Yeah. That would be really nice to try some. We're going to try these. Okay. So this is kind of a concoction of sorts. We've got Mars, and this might have to be a two-part video. Probably. Mars, which we have Mars bars here, but just, I don't eat Mars. If yeah, I'm I've never had a Mars bar. Uh, I just know we have them. Oh, that's raspberry. raspberry Smash, Snickers, Peanut, Brownie. That's right up my alley. We got Double, Double, Double. And then the last one we have Arrow, Arrow. Feel the bubbles melt. We've had those. Yeah, we've had those. Yeah. Here, we'll go ahead and set the arrows to the side. the side. We've got nacho cheese shapes. Have we had the nacho cheese? We had to have had that. Yeah. Yeah, we've had the nacho cheese. We've had the nacho cheese. Oh, my. Cadbury snack. Dairy Milk Snack Banana and Caramel. We did not have that. We just no. What we had was the. Uh, it had the honeycomb. Salt. It was the. It was the uh, salted white car white chocolate caramel, okay, that's with perfect. honeycomb on the inside. That's okay. So I can see this further here. He sent us a big jar. A big jar. Damn, I'm disappointed that she didn't come. I know. I tried to get one of my friends over. We've to, been trying uh, to get people over so we can do this. Oh, and cheese. I thought it looked different. So we need to do this on another video. We can do a reaction and try this. Yes. Or we could take it to work and have Americans introduce Vegemite. Okay, so this is going to be saved to the for later. If we get enough 
comments comments regarding asking. this we will take this to work we'll take a toaster and we'll take a loaf of bread and some butter obviously and yeah. see if we can get people to try this 100 percent. that's what we're doing if you guys want to see it all right so i see one thing in here that i've already had and loved which is the golden gay time popcorn Yes, this is delicious. This was amazing. That was absolutely delicious. So we can set that to the side. We have not had Cobb's natural popcorn cheddar cheese, which we will try just because it sounds really good to me yeah. right now. Yeah, these are so big. There's so Thank much you. shite in here. Yeah, no. David, sorry. I was trying to remember your name. He goes by Dave. Dave, that's <laughs> right. Dave and wife. Uh... No, it's not Priscilla. Do, uh, d uh, it starts with a D. Uh, Donna. Donna. Ah, I was, I actually remembered. Well, it wasn't Priscilla. Uh, grain waves. So these are like, uh, what are these like? Uh, sun. Yeah, the sun chips. Sun chips. That next one is, I'm, I'm excited about that next one. There's a couple of next ones. Oh, the middle one. Oh, that. The only oh, reason snap. why is because we have we actually snaps, have these. but I've never seen one. Salt and vinegar. Yeah, I've never seen a I've salt and vinegar. I've never seen that either. But these are good as, oh, yeah. as fudge nuggets. Why are you getting all censorship? I just don't like saying bad words. And I love these. These are the thin salt. Uh, this is my favorite flavor, salt and vinegar. If I ever go yeah. anywhere, especially with a sandwich, this is the best flavor. Yeah. We'll try those. French fries. Yeah. And these over there. I don't want anything on my side. I want it all on your side. All right. We're almost done. <laughs> all right, we've got Alan's Cheekies. These are chewy chocolate cheeky, flavored. Cheeky, cheeky, cheeky. That's weird. I've never seen a, a, a chocolate jelly. But remember the last time we tried chocolate, uh, what was it? Eucalyptus for sharing. Chocolate. Uh, really eucalyptus. Really handmade. The really black uh, licorice. Oh, that was so bad. Oh, this is just cough drops. Okay. You can set those to the side for a rainy day. A sick day. Yeah, so one of my customers actually had COVID. They texted us the next day. We tested Ooh. positive. Musk sticks. What in the world? Are these just no artificial colors or flavors? Treat yourself to a little musk magic. This classic Australian tree has a floral aroma and flavor in that. So it looks like gum sticks, but I don't I think it is. And then this last one in that bag is Daryl Lee Bullets. Milk chocolate raspberry. That looks good. That looks good. And then last. Oh, goodness. But not least, or maybe least, I don't know. We've got Cadbury Twirl. These are the ones that I like, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can set those to the side. We've had the twirls. Mm. Butter menthol, so more, I believe, lozenges of shorts. Original vitamin C. Sore throats, yes. We will be using those. And if y'all really want to see us taste these kind of things, we will just let us know again down in the comments that... Otherwise, we're going to hold on to those. Yeah, we'll we do like a them. YouTube short on a day we're sick. There you go. Uh, speaking of shorts, we have one to do. Those look good. Uh, Weathers Original. Oh, I love Weather Werther's. Blech. I don't know why I said Weathers. They're just Werther's. those creamy hard candies? Yeah. Yeah, those Every are the Every grandma has these. Yeah, the and those bag. little strawberry fill jelly yes. filled hard candies. I'm going to put all these off. Yeah, we'll have to save the hard candies for another day. All right, so you can, guys... And we can insert them into videos. Like, we yeah. can just try stuff as we... You guys choose which one we eat first. Oh, kidding, it's not live. Um, <laughs> but y'all feel dumb. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> said it. All right. I think we need to have something that's closest to something we've had. So something like this. We haven't had any of these flavors. The only other thing that we've had... Something similar is the Anzac biscuits. Yeah, and I'd like to save the Anzac biscuits for closer to the end of this video if we're making this a two-parter. Okay. So, so, 
because obviously Anzac just gets mean a lot to you guys. Yeah. And Please I enjoyed the ones respect. the last yeah. time. No, they were delicious. All right, so. Like, I, I kind of like those kind of cookies where they're real hard mm -hmm. or biscuits, however you want to call it. But then they like moisten up as you eat. Right. That's what I really like. All right, three choices. We're going to start with the French fries, salt, and vinegar. Okay. The caramel crowns. Or. I like how we make this so difficult. Or. The snap Salt piece. and vinegar. Okay. Yeah. Is that what you chose? Yeah. And then after the snap peas, because that's going to be very tangy. We need to take a drink. We did bring drinks this time. And then I say we do something like this. I'm down. Guys, let us know in the comments uh, out of these snacks, which ones are your favorites? Have you tried all of these? Because I know like this roast chicken with sage and burnt butter. It says limited edition. Do these look like ours? Mm -hmm. I think they look different. No, they're just different color. This needs to be with a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It's like a cheese puff. PB and J sandwich, no? Like put them on a PB and J? No, like next to a PB. Or on it, it doesn't matter. I'd put these on a PB and J. But I can taste, like I, I just feel like it needs to go with uh, grape jelly or some type of jam or preservative. That's good. Back when I thought I was dieting, but I really wasn't dieting. I'd eat so many bags of those. Oh, thinking that you were like <laughs> eating healthy. It's snap peas, bro. It's healthy. All right, we're gonna do these next, and then you pick the next one after this. Ooh. I fucked up. Why? I, I cheated. I just put that in my mouth. Oh yeah. It's got raisins in them, I think. Yeah, that's a raisin. No, those look like... It was a raisin cookie, bro. Okay. Oatmeal raisin? Mm-hmm. Mm. Like a butter cookie raisin. Yeah. Are you sure those are raisins? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me actually close them so I'm not smearing it all over the... It Is doesn't it? even really say anything about it. That's really good though. Yeah, it is. I'm into that. That's a good cookie. <clears throat> I definitely get like an oatmeal raisin cookie vibe though. I get. What is. But yeah, oatmeal. Oatmeal is very strong in that flavor. All right, we're gonna hit the Cobbs natural popcorn cheddar cheese. There's absolutely nothing artificial about this. And there's only 101 calories per serving. So the whole bag? American size serving. Yeah. yeah. Take a sip. Did you take a sip? That's not sucking my teeth. Well, you're supposed to clean your palate. Yeah, but I'm, I'll run, I don't even have any water left. You went and got fresh water and chugged it down. Oh, sorry. I got too excited. Okay. It reminds me of the smart popcorn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's good. It actually feels healthier than the smart smart popcorn because <laughs> lack of crunch. Well, no, the smart popcorn gets real gummy on your fingers because there's so much stuff put on it. Yeah. And this is 100% I just uh, said that. Absolutely nothing artificial. Yeah, that's what I'm looking for. Yeah, on the very front. <laughs> I thought it said 100%. Unfortunately, there's no MSG. I was about to say, no added MSG. Yeah. They screwed up there. Boy, I put MSG and everything. 
Oh yeah. This is oh. I'm very curious. That's risky. Ooh. Ooh. Could be gum. You want to just like split it in half? Mm-hmm. It's definitely floral. It tastes like a flower. Mm-hmm. It does. I think we took too big of a bite. That was a really weird experience. It was a very... Let's do it again. Fuck you. It was good. You like that? I don't know. Oh, I can't do that. Oh, I don't think I've ever been exposed to anything like this before. I haven't. I have not. So maybe my tongue is just not designed for that. Treat yourself to a little musk magic. This classic Australian treat has a floral aroma and flavor. One that musk lovers will savor. Lolly go round. Musk stick. Oh, I just like, <laughs> that was weird. Like, I almost vomited. Like, my head just shot backwards on its own. That was that. weird. That was a little odd. <laughs> like, ugh. Oh, I do not like that at all. No offense to anybody that loves those. All there's right. a taste bud. There's something for every taste bud, I guess. So this is the only French fry that gives you an authentic French fry experience. It's funny how you, like, at first, I thought you were being dead serious. Like, guys, this is the only French fry... It's not from like a restaurant. Potato sticks, bro. Oh, that was the last one. Was so good. I liked it. Kind of. I don't know. Mm. This changes everything. Wow, this is so good. Oh, yeah. I could tear this bag up in one sitting. Again, PB and J, throw this in the middle, tear it up. That's so good. That is delicious. This is like, for chips, I think this is like a 9 out of a 10. Mm. 8.9. So dumb. That's good. I wouldn't give it a 9. <laughs> I'd give it like a, like a 7.5. Mm. I don't know. We can make this one video, though, honestly. Yeah, this could be one video. No, I'm saying like... We keep going. Okay. Because we haven't had enough stacks to end the video, and there's really not a lot left. No. We just did something savory. Let's do this guy. Cheekies. This is going to be different, too, in my opinion. Wow. That is one strong chocolate yeah. scent. It smells like gummy bear, or, uh, Play-Oh. I think it smells like... Mm -hmm. It smells like lubricant. Like condom lubricant. Yeah, that's where I was going mm -hmm. with. Yeah. <laughs> I was just wanting to make sure. No, I got it because I smelt it when you said it. Yeah. But after you chew it about 15 times. That's exactly what it smells like. It tastes like chocolate. I don't hate it. I don't like it. I don't know how I feel. I don't know how I feel about it. I'm going to take a drink and then give it another one. I mean, I think the scent is throwing me off. Oh, yeah, that's Trojan condoms all day. 100%. I don't know. It's very chocolatey. Yeah, no, after you, you want to rip one in half? No. Try another half? Mm -mm. You're good? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm good too. All right. I'm going to move on. I like, it's not that I don't like you. it. It's just, it's not. I would not go searching. For it. By no means. No. Yeah. It's not bad. Like, this is like what edible panties taste like, basically. I've never tried those. I have. Okay. On a dare. There was literally no female attached to it. <laughs> Quite Moving bad. on. We're going to go back to a healthier snack. Sun Bites, Grain Waves, Sour Cream and Chives. Oh, 
Oh, these are at least the ones I got are small. They're itty bitty. Okay, I'm gonna close my eyes on this one. See if I can picture sun chips. I don't have to. Don't close your eyes, like. Oh, nope. Oh, nope. Way different. These are very uh, grain. <laughs> it's in the name. I like these more. Mm, I like them differently. I don't like them more. I don't like them less. I would say I'm not a huge fan of sun chips. I like them. I like sun chips, but I like these just differently. Like these are really good. Like I could be in a mood for this versus a mood for that. Mm -hmm. Again, these chips would go perfect with a PB and J sandwich. This would be good on a little snack tray by the pool. That too. With some cheese and some dip. Go ahead, my friend. Okay, my friend. Very nice, my friend. We only need to really do one of these. Yeah. Let's do the Mars bars. Okay. Mars bar. Again, I've never had Mars. Either have I. I've seen them on the shelf, but I've never had them. So we'll have to save the bullets for one of the last... Kind of like a Three Musketeers style. That's what he does. Bro. This is good. That's good. I'm not necessarily a huge fan on the raspberry part. I am. Like as far as like chocolate bars, I'd give this like a four, maybe. I didn't. Out of ten. I didn't like the raspberry part until about ten chews in. No, that didn't change. I had to have it blend. I'm a fan. I like the consistency. Mm -hmm. The flavor just doesn't do it for me. Maybe if it was like a strawberry, it would be different. I'm strawberry hands down on everything. Really? I love strawberry flavor. Oh, stuff. oh. I thought you were saying. I tasted strawberry. Like you don't like strawberry. Oh, no. Right? Strawberry is my favorite. Yeah, yeah. 100%. All right. For all of you that haven't tried the roast chicken and sage and burnt butter, we're going to save that close to the end too because it's limited edition and maybe you haven't had it. Yeah, we've had people where they're like, I haven't even tried that yet. That's so cool too. Yeah. All right. We're a million miles away. Red Rock Deli Chef Series Portuguese. It smells like chicken I cooked tonight. Dink it, bro. Cat food. Exactly tastes like cat food. Which I'm cool with. I've eaten it before. Oh, so did I tell you about my dog food? situation mm -hmm. so i get my food delivered from walmart and they delivered me the all everything wrong and they sent me somebody else's i called in to get it uh, replaced or whatever i needed to do they're like well di we'll refund you and you can keep the food i was like nope came with tortillas came with what i thought was chicken came with water and all that good stuff and i was like tortillas and chicken hell yes fajitas bro I had the thing in there and I opened it up. I'm like, I want to taste this before I eat, fix it in tacos. I pull it out. Like, this is really good. <laughs> Take another bite. I'm like, what is this called? And I see Rachel Ray. I'm like, oh, she's a chef. <laughs> she knows what the hell she's doing. And I'm like looking at it. But you didn't. And I turned it around to read the ingredients and it said, your dog will love this. And I was like probably five pieces in at this point. It was delicious. <laughs> dog food. I threw it away, but I was just like, bro, when you screw up and you eat dog food and you enjoy it, I found Link likes cat food. Ooh. Link. Uh, true. On Good Mythical Morning, if you guys have ever seen that before. But this does taste like a lot like dog food. It's kind of gone away now that I've been eating on it. I can. No, it tastes just like dog food. I can, I can picture a roasted chicken. To an extent. <laughs> You're so dumb. Stop lying. I'm not. I am. I'm really not. You can like I can give two it. shits whether you guys 
know if I like these snacks or not. If I don't like them, I'll say I don't like them. You have yet to say that. That I don't like them? Yeah. You like everything. They've all been decent. And then after the video's done filming, he's like, they were all horrible. No, I'm just kidding. We just had chips. So we have way more sweets than we have savory. We have two before. So we're going to have to stack a couple sweets. That's cool. That's cool. We can do that one and then that one. Somebody's going to be like, he didn't open that up right. I don't know. I'm excited about these. Okay, is it good? Don't tell me. Just let me. I'm I'm shooting three bullets in my mouth. Okay, they're gummies. Not gooeyish. I thought they were gonna be more. These gooey. are actually really good. Mhm. Mm I was. Have you ever had orange sticks? Orange what? Orange sticks. Oh, I thought you said They're like this else. long. But they're coated orange flavored. And these are raspberry too. Mm-hmm. I actually really like it because the raspberry is so late. And the chocolate is so strong that you just get a tad bit of the raspberry. I'll say, out of everything, I think even the condom uh, gummies. Oh, this is way better. I don't like this. It's not bad. Compared to the condom gummy? Mm-hmm. You like the condoms more than you like the. I did. They're both on the same flavor profile for me. Not the best. But I like the consistency of the condom candies. They're going to come out with the condom version. Yeah. <laughs> no. The condom gummy is like a 4-3 max. This one's like a 6 for me on like the gummy coated chocolatey stuff. See, I'd give those a three, and then the condom gummy is like a four and a half. Yeah, that's probably where I put both of them, actually. Get that cross section. Gooey. It's voluptuous. This is actually better than the other ones. What were the other ones called? Pinwheels? Mm-hmm. You don't have the little... The pinwheels had like jelly in them though. No, that's not what I'm taking out. They were our nuts, but they were, they had like little uh, hard Delicate, uh, de decadent. Yeah, I think that's what it's decadent. I think these taste better actually. Those are pretty good. These are very good. Mm -hmm. I'd give these like an eight out of 10 for like chocolate goodness. I know it's your choice what's next, but I think since we're on the chocolate chocolate, we should switch. Uh, we're on a caramel chocolate. We should switch to a not caramel chocolate and go back to a caramel chocolate. You know what I'm saying? That was good. I have no idea what you did. I'm saying since we had caramel chocolate, we should now go to peanut brownie. Oh, it's got caramel too. Okay. Doesn't matter. You don't uh -huh. want to break it up with this? Or you'd rather, well, we do one of these, do this, do right. this, do that. Right. What, what's that? Yeah. Okay, I'm picking a number one through ten, you pick. Five. Evens odds. So, okay. All right. You made that way more difficult than I thought yeah, you were so going confused. to. Yeah, confused. I didn't want to pick. It was your pick. Well, I don't know which one to pick. I'm glad we didn't eat. Yeah, no, this is this is our dinner for tonight. Or at least mine. Mine too. 100%. All right. That's what's up, bro. Completely forgot that we were about to eat a banana flavored something. Yeah. That's what's up. That's some good shit. So weird. Like I haven't, I can't remember the last time I've eaten a banana flavored something. 
That's good. What this reminds me of, the banana portion of it, is a banana popsicle. I don't think I've ever had a banana popsicle. Those are just Those, called bananas. Mm -mm. Those popsicles, the cheap popsicles that you get unfrozen in the netting bag, mm -hmm. like the kids use. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the a one that they flavor. got a trend going on TikTok where she snaps it up in half. Have you seen that? Mm -mm. It's like everybody's trying it and they're just breaking in half and nobody can get it to snap in half. That that uh, banana flavor reminds me of that banana flavor. <laughs> Bro, you were ready to karate chop it though. I was just... Bruh. Oh. They're, That's why they did that. They're really broken. Yeah, there's no big pieces. Okay, let's... Oh, God, it's all over your hands. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Don't do that. There, I got you some big pieces. Bro, it's like shooting out at you. Do we have a napkin in here? I feel like you've never played... Uh, uh, what's that game? Uh, where you don't hit the edges? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. Operation? Yeah, Operation. Bro, these are like super greasy. Yeah. Now that tastes like real chicken. And butter. But I have a feeling it tastes like butter because it's fucking doused in it. Yeah. And I love it. That's good. That is very good. It only takes 10 pounds of butter to make it. I'd say this and the and the uh, peas are my favorite. Those are good. These are good. I just don't want to get my hands any dirtier. Mm -hmm. You're wearing a lot of this right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That was a mess. There you go. I'm so sugared out right now. These need to be frozen. This is the only way to eat a Snickers. I'm not a huge Snickers fan. I just like crunch. I'm just going to bite it. That's fine. I don't care. Okay. I like Snickers. <laughs> I've got a good brownie flavor. It actually doesn't taste much like a Snickers, if I'm being honest. I have a really good brownie flavor. That's way better than what I was expecting. I like that more than a Snickers. The peanut is so strong. The brownie is super strong. That is 100 times better than a regular Snickers. Mm -hmm. Straight up. I completely agree. I want another one. I, that is actually Let me break good. you off another bite? Nah, I'm good. I'm, there's just so much sugar right now going through my system. I'm like, I, know, I, love it. I haven't eaten all day. All right. That didn't work out well. Anzac Biscuits by Baker's Finest. Let me get this chocolate out of my mouth. I feel like we should be British with biscuits. These look like they've been cooked longer than the other ones. I'm excited for this. Oh, smell it. Smell it. Oh, yeah. Smells so good. All right. Oh, yeah. Much more of a crunch than the last one. I like that. Mm -hmm. What's that taste like? Oatmeal. That's what it is. I knew that. <laughs> Only thing that's missing is really like raisins. Like, and I'm saying that as like from what I'm familiar with. Mm -hmm. It doesn't need the raisins, obviously. That's good. How do you feel about the coconut? I mean, I can taste it. That's good. I, it, see, I was doing my best to ignore it, 
I'm starting to feel it in my teeth. And that's why I don't like it. Where is this made? Where? I mean, every purchase helps uh, veterans and families in Australia. But it was distributed in California. No! But it doesn't say, oh. It's made in California. Well, no, the company is out of Cali uh, The company is out of Australia. It doesn't say where it's made. It says where it's distributed. That's weird. Mm -hmm. So, it'll, it told, or I'm guessing it's based off of Italian Ooh. maybe. In Australia. Made with love and care in Australia from premium quality ingredients. But that's so interesting. It's distributed in USA by BWI Inc. But they also give you an ingredient Westlake list Village, for California. Australia and the United States. Oh. So they sell these here. Possibly. Well, obviously, I would imagine. they distribute them here. Yeah. So that's kind of cool. That was good. And I like that, uh, obviously, not only are you eating the Anzac biscuit, if you like the Anzac biscuit, but you're eating the Anzac biscuit from this company because when you purchase it, it, it gives back to uh, families and, and veterans and things like that. Dave and Donna. Double D. This was fantastic. <laughs> this was amazing. We truly, truly appreciate it. All the snacks that we didn't try that we've already tried before. We're on a diet and thank you for kicking us off of that for at least three days. We truly appreciate Thanks. it. I'm going to enjoy my uh, salted caramel brownie Tim Tams um, and whatever else I can steal from him. So You can have it all. Uh, not that I want him to. I just have to be careful. With what I'm Look at little Joey. Little Joey. There's a little Joey. Well, um, so thanks for kind of forcing us to need because we've been wanting to add stuff behind the on the wall. Mm -hmm. It's just actually kind of getting around to actually doing it. Right. Um, but guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit the like button. If you want to see our future videos, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. And if you want to support us directly, hit that join button. With that being said, my name is Miles and my name is Fez. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out. Mm -hmm.